Hello my soccer universe. International break is right ahead of us, so it's time to see what are the games to watch. First off, I'm in Austria gear, because um, on first match day, Thursday, we have already big match for Austria that I'm very psyched about. If they don't beat Israel this time, they don't deserve to be at the Euros. It's as simple as that, but it's gonna be a crucial match for them, as we will see. So I'm all geared up for that, uh, ready to go, if you like. I was thinking, shall I wear it? Do I wanna jinx them? No. Also, backgrounds uh, change. This time I said I'm gonna pick all my European uh, national team jerseys and take the most recent ones. So that's what we have here, and if you wonder what is the most recent one, well, it's the... Belgium, England and France jerseys over there from the 2018 World Cup. The Belgium and the England jerseys are bought together, so take your pick which is the most recent one. The France jersey got of course ahead of the World Cup. Um, also a little disclaimer, I am only focusing on the European qualifiers uh, for the simple reason that this is where my attention is and probably most people's attention is at those unless of course you're living outside of Europe then I can see but I think all the main storylines are there because Euro qualifying is getting on that final stretch yes uh, for some it's a little bit of a downer that after all these club games uh, we have not the international break but I always enjoy the international break truly because uh, suddenly we're gonna talk about countries that you don't hear the whole month and now we hear about Andorras, the Liechtensteins and all those smaller countries. I like this the diversity. I even, you know, if I would have more info at hand, I probably would even dig into the African qualifiers. Uh, I think Asian World Cup qualifiers are already starting, but that's a little bit uh, absolutely weird out there. And of course, there's the CONCACAF Nations League which yeah, Jürgen Klinsmann said is a waste of time uh, because he's only looking from the US perspective. I think for CONCACAF it's a good thing. What would be better? Well, if CONCACAF and Combat Ball would actually merge somehow and make a Nations League. I think that would be a true competitor uh, to UEFA. I think if those two American federations could find a way to get together, then you have a big weight. But yeah. But this is not... We're not talking much about all those things, although it's very intriguing. Let's see, European qualifiers, what to watch. And it actually starts off with um, Thursday with quite the matchups, I have to say. The first that really sticks out, and there are two of those, is Croatia, Hungary and Slovakia, Wales. With Slovakia, Wales probably being the more iffy one, if you ask me. Those four teams all have big chances to still qualify. Uh, it's a last chance to me for Hungary. Wales still has a game in hand. But, you know, should Wales beat Slovakia, then I would give Wales the inside track. But um, for me, Slovakia, whoever goes there, will probably finish behind Croatia. And Croatia better beat Hungary. Otherwise, they might get into trouble. Uh, another... Same I interested with Netherlands, Northern Ireland. I mean, Northern Ireland needs to make now the points. Uh, but given what we have seen, although you never know with the Dutch uh, what they pull out. But um, yeah, if the Dutch win that one, then I think they are on the inside track to win this group. Um, I think way more interesting is than the Netherlands against Northern Ireland, Austria, Israel. This is basically the last chance for Israel. And the group for Austria is a wide open one. That's uh, Group G, as far as I remember. Yes, that's a wide open group where five teams, in theory, have a chance to qualify uh, with probably the advantage with Poland and Austria. However, they cannot afford to drop uh, points. So for me, Austria-Israel is one of those games where Austria can take care of Israel and also avenge a really unnecessary defeat uh, in March. Um, Israel, of course, the coach is the Austrian record international and the Herzog, which adds a little bit fuel, uh, fuel to the fire there. Uh, they chose to play it in Vienna and that's, uh, if they raise the ticket prices, it will be at a very bad uh, atmosphere, sure. Also, North Macedonia against Slovenia. I mean, if Slovenia wants to stay in the running, they better get a result in North Macedonia and vice versa. So, um, these to me are two knockout ties. 
where you can get rid of Israel and Northern Macedonia right there. Then another one that sounds big, but the Belgium Russia group is decided. Bel Russia, Scotland uh, sounds bigger than it is. Friday. Um, I think the match that I'm looking at here are Iceland, France and Turkey, Albania. I think those are the two matches that um, stick out here. Um, last chance for Iceland and Turkey also needs to get something going against Albania. Otherwise they will be uh, in trouble a little bit as well. Um, they still have to play Iceland and they don't like playing Iceland and Albania also is clawing themselves back in. So uh, kind of a decider. For me, Turkey and France have the inside track here. So uh, if they win both games, then I think this group is probably pre-decided. Should Iceland get a result against France and they probably will need a win, uh, then the group is suddenly wide open again. And let's see where Albania is going. Czech Republic, England, could be interesting, I don't see, because I don't see England um, in any danger and Montenegro, Bulgaria is kind of a match of the uglies, uh, where I personally hope that Bulgaria is getting something. Portugal needs to take care of Lux Luxembourg as does, and Ukraine is actually a little bit, they don't need to do much anymore, uh, they just need to hold off basically Portugal and more importantly Serbia, who are having a day off there. Going on Saturday. Now we also have interesting games there. Uh, Denmark, Switzerland. That was something. Yes, there was something. I think Denmark came back from a three goal deficit to make it 3 3. That I think is the game to watch on that day. Uh, Norway, Spain could be interesting if Norway can get something uh, to keep themselves in contention. And Italy, Greece sounds big, but I think it's a big matchup just because Italy is playing green. I think way more interesting there is Bosnia against Finland, because if Bosnia wants to catch Finland, there you need to get the points. Uh, so that also is a huge matchup happening at the same time uh, as Denmark, Switzerland. Also a little bit contentious there how we will do. Then that ends match day seven and let's go to match day eight. Um, again, the Netherlands Germany group, there's really not much happening there. Wales, Croatia, huge matchup. That is, uh, Wales gotta get something from that one if they wanna have a chance. Slovenia, Austria, another huge matchup. Uh, you saw how the group pans out. If Austria beats um, Israel and Slovenia takes care of Northern Macedonia, here is the direct who will go. I think if Austria gets two wins, then they will qualify because the last two games are relatively easy. But that, I think, is a huge matchup in that group for sure. Uh, Monday. Let's see, I mean, for my wife, Bulgaria, England, no, this is not interesting. Ukraine, Portugal, France, Turkey. Those are the two uh, that stick out out of everything else. And Serbia better get a result in Lithuania. Otherwise, they are really in big trouble. But Ukraine, Portugal, France, Turkey, I think France, Turkey, even a more... Um, uh, important game uh, because it can have huge implication if that ends in a draw that would mean that with the level Turkey would hold the um, tiebreaker and France would have to fend off the others I think Iceland will probably beat Andorra but um, they are two really interesting games on Monday and Tuesday is probably the one day that could uh, look a little bit bad but then you have Switzerland against Ireland and that is, I think, a must win for both teams. So that's uh, one to watch. Sweden, Spain also is one that's, it's probably the, um, how do I say, probably from the names, the more interesting one, although Spain is a little bit toying with this group. And then you have the uh, Liechtenstein, Italy, you know, that group. Finland probably will get something against Armenia and Greece. Bosnia is a battle for the very, very last chance. If they still are in contention, I have a feeling um, Greece at that point might not be in it anymore and Bosnia also has a steep uphill battle. So kind of those, I, know, I mean this is kind of, yeah, who is gonna go for third spot rather than who's gonna go for second. And we already know that Greece has no chance of qualifying through the playoffs. So yeah, it's a little bit a downer. So I have, have, have to say Tuesday is maybe not as exciting, but Switzerland, Ireland, that's a game that I would be looking forward to. Well, 
that's what you can watch uh, in the next six days. As I said, I'm somewhat excited. I think on every day there is a match that I'm looking forward to watching. So that's a good thing. And I, I have also matches that I can put on a second screen. I'm sure there will be some upset somewhere. That's national teams. And I will again try to then, uh, you know, if I don't manage a daily video, I will at least uh, summarize it at the very end. I will, of course, do my best to give you a daily video on the weekends. It's sometimes a little bit tough to do that, but, uh, you know, worst case scenario, uh, put them all together. It's definitely interesting what's going to happen. Let me know which games you want to watch. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Also, go back on my channel and check out the playlist for Euro 2020 qualifying because uh, the previous video I really explained in quite some detail where I think things will go, especially with how the Nations League ranking goes uh, in and so on. So I think that might be of interest if um, you are not quite sure how it's working. So I can warmly re recommend that video. Again, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye!